Hey guys, I hope you're having a great Saturday. Um, I'm out in the boondocks, just been out for a great ride. Um, did one of my famous, I don't know where I'm going, I'll just take this turn here and just did about 40 k's on dirt road, which is always exciting on a Harley. In fact, I feel like I possibly have rattled a few things loose because I noticed on the tar I've got a few noises I didn't have before. Thought it might have been rocks in the tires, but I don't think so. I think it's actually some, some bolts that are loose. Um, but, you know, one of the things that we all love about riding Harleys is you get to set them up exactly how you want. So the position of your handlebars, uh, the foot pegs, whether you have forward controls like I do or mid controls, um, you know, tyre pressures, your style of seat, all these things determine the enjoyment of the ride. In other words, the right position leads to freedom. Because ultimately, when you position the things exactly right and that suit you, that's when you have the best ride experience. You're not worried about coming off um, or rattling loose or, you know, you're not cramping up. You are actually, I mean, the, the, the old adage of Harleys are a freedom machine and riding is all about freedom is never truer than when you've set your bike up exactly how you want it set up. And you know what? It's the same with life. Knowing your position in life really enhances uh, how you live, uh, the decisions you make and the way that you really view life and the way that you, you know, really, and especially with faith. There's this great verse in Galatians that says, but when the set time has fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption to sonship. Because you are his sons, that's you and me, you are his sons. God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts and the spirit who calls out Abba Father. So you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. In other words, knowing your position in Christ, knowing that you are no longer a slave to sin, that sin has no hold on you, that your past mistakes have no hold on you, the things that people have said or done to you have no hold on you. When you come to faith and really fully come into that knowledge of saving grace, of knowing that God has called you as one of his sons or daughters, then there's a, there's a real freedom that comes with that. So just like on the bike, having the right position leads to a freedom and, and really fully enjoying the ride, knowing your position in God, knowing your position in Christ, knowing that you are an heir, that you are someone who can call him Abba Father, you can walk right, in, right into God's throne room, so to speak, and he stands there with arms open wide, longing and waiting uh, for you to get to know him better. So knowing all of those things, really does help you position yourself in life. And that will lead to, as Jesus said, he came that you might have life to the full, life to the max. In other words, that you would know fully the freedom of his presence in and through your life. So I just want to encourage you with this short clip today. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic sad day. I hope you find yourself in church tomorrow. Um, have a blessed week ahead. And just remember, just like on my bike, setting up the position, leading to freedom. You discovering your position in God, a son, not a slave, a son, not a servant, a son or a daughter who has an inheritance, who is an heir with Christ. Knowing that brings life and it breathes freedom. In other words, you being positioned in your life will lead you to live the full life that God has purposed and has called you to. I hope you discover that on your own. If you want to know more, send me a direct message. I'd love to chat about this with you or encourage you or you know, pray for you or with you, stand with you believing something. So have a great weekend. Bless your heaps. Bye.